Speaking of science here, covering our changing climate this morning, a new study published in the American Meteorological Society's Journal of Climate shows an alarming trend in the Gulf right now. Data indicating that the Gulf has been warming about twice right. as quickly as global oceans. Yeah, think about that. So the Gulf of Mexico, it's warming. We talk about how our ocean, our air, our atmosphere is warming, right. but the Gulf of Mexico specifically is warming twice as fast as the rest of the oceans around the globe. Let me give you a little bit of background here about this study. When I saw this study was released, I, I wanted to obviously share it with you. Direct so, impact on us. Yes, yes. So here's the background with this. So when you think about warming, right, you, you just think about the sun coming up and it heats up the air and, and that's where we get our daytime highs and all of that. But the ocean plays a really important role in just the Earth's climate system, all right? So the ability for the ocean to store and then slowly release, gradually release that heat, really stabilizes the Earth's climate system. So just around the world, the Earth or the, the oceans play a huge role in that. And think about it, 70% of the Earth is our oceans. Now, the top few yards of the ocean's surface store as much heat as the entire atmosphere. So that's a lot of energy that's being stored in just the top few yards of the ocean. And that's what we're really seeing warming around the globe. When you look at the ocean heat content, and you go back to 1950, this is a graph of that global ocean heat content. See how it's gradually increasing up until around 1990. And then from there, there's really a sharp increase in the amount of that heat or amount of energy that is being stored in the top layers of the oceans. And here's what this study found, all right? It found that the Gulf of Mexico surface temperature increased between 1970 to 2020, 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's roughly 0.34 degrees Fahrenheit per decade. And that also equals twice the rate of warming that the rest of the oceans are seeing around the world. And here's why that's really important and why we have to continue to study this because we have to understand the impacts and the implications of that. Warming oceans mean a couple of things. They mean that the sea level rise is gonna be exacerbated just purely alone. When you have more warmth, that causes expansion and that's gonna cause the sea level to rise even more than you're going to get with melting ice caps and that sort of thing. But also it increases and exacerbates the hypoxia. Basically, it chokes the oxygen out of the ocean and obviously all of our marine life need oxygen. That's really important. So that's not good. But probably more of an impact to, to us physically is the fact that more ocean heat means more energy for hurricanes to fuel off of. And that's where we're likely going to see more intense hurricanes in the future because of warming global temperatures. So that's something that we just got released. And I, I just posted a lot more information to that study on social media, on Twitter, and on Facebook if you want to check it out. So.